Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you Portuse. It's a complex Linux distribution made for older computers. You can run it on a CD or DVD drive, on your USB or your HDD. And SSD of course. It's below 300 megabytes and it's very light and fast. Let's download it. I am going to take the newest release since there might be some improvements compared to the old version. In fact, I already downloaded it. Let me show you. See, it takes about 400 megabytes because it has some updates, but the tools and matter is still light. To put it to the ultimate test, I decided to use an MTCD with 700 megabytes of storage. I have these laying around in my room, so why not? Since my main PC doesn't have an optical drive, I just use my laptop. Here you can see the specs. Alright! I put it in my CD, so let's burn Portius to it. I put the ISO file on my laptop in order to burn it. Alright, the burning process is finished, so let's get to the installation part. I wanted to record the footage using my capture stick, but my VGA to HDMI adapter didn't work, so and my laptop doesn't support VGA, so I'll just have to use my phone. So. My apologies for the bad camera quality. All right. This is the boot screen. It looks very nice to be honest. Let's take always fresh. So it will boot just fine. I'll just skip the 12 boot footage. I don't want to waste your time today, so here you go. So, this is our desktop. At least the zoom of my phone decided to work, so it's pretty clear. It's a nice desktop background, to be honest, and the movement is pretty fast. I will put some nice background music while I'm exploring the OS a bit. As you can see, my resource Usage is pretty low. It doesn't use much RAM, only around 900 megabytes. I have to note that I'm using a CD drive and that's not rewritable, so the system is loaded into the RAM. Normally it will take around only 400 megabytes of RAM. I 
I just want out that I don't have Wi-Fi drivers installed and I didn't find any Linux drivers for my laptop so I'll have to do it offline. So, there's nothing much left to see, so I'll just end the video here. Are you, what do you think of my voice? Let me know in the comments. It's not text to speech by the way, it's my real voice. Thank you for watching, I see you in the next one.